Hey, what's going on? Dylan Tooby of the Soccer Centrals. Today I'm going to teach you how to throw a football really far. If you want to throw the football far, it comes down to technique. It's all in the way you use your body to throw the ball as far as efficiently possible. So the power, it starts from your hips, it starts from your legs right here. I'm not just throwing with my upper body. If you want to play quickly, that's fine. I really want you to try to always play as quickly as possible. Get the ball, throw it in, join in. But if you want to throw the ball far, if you're trying to put it in the box or you want to put it down the line for someone to run onto, the power starts with your lower body and then with your upper body. So I really want to get a good plant when I'm landing. And then I'm using the power in my quads and my hamstrings and my hip flexors. I'm going to flex my whole body like this and whip the ball forward. So after you have that, your whole body throwing the ball, then it's about your hand positioning. So you want to try to get your hands behind the ball so you're not exactly on the side because a lot of times your hand will come across and you'll throw with a curve or not where you want to, not with enough power. You're almost pushing the ball from the back and you want to hold it on the side but from the back and let the ball go. Again, it's all about your full body so really focus on throwing and making as big as a, a whip effect, an elastic whip as you possibly can. <laughs> if you want to throw the ball farther, if you just want to be better at sports, better in life, you need to work on strengthening your whole body from head to toe. But if you want to throw the ball farther, here's a really cool exercise that you can do. All you need is a weight plate, and you're going to focus just on that technique that we were practicing before. I like a throw in, but I don't want you to whip so much as I want you to control the weight. I want you to feel every muscle that you're working in that movement and focus on controlling the weight through the perfect path. Throw-ins aren't my strongest part of the game, but I don't whine and complain about it. I don't say I suck at throw-ins. All I say is I'm going to try to get better. I'm going to work harder to become better. So if you struggle with any skill, do not be frustrated. Don't talk down to yourself. Just tell yourself if you work hard, if you practice, you're going to get better. Thanks for checking out this video. Please get the free training guide if you haven't already. Soccer success secrets, mental mastery. Please come back tomorrow. I'm going to do another video and I'm going to help you improve more as a soccer player. I'll see you next time.